Well, hello, gorgeous. My name is Dusty, and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you like my vibe, I would appreciate those likes and subscribes. Anybody who already has, thank you. If you would like a personal reading, you can do that by visiting ScorpioPriestess.com. It is in the description of this video, as well as a link in the bio. I have many different options. If you would like to enter to win a $125, Sellers. You could do that by liking, subscribing, and entering blessing in the comment section. But if you're doing well for yourself, Scorpio, let's pass this one to our friends and family that could use the extra come up. But everybody, anybody is welcome to enter to win a free half hour FaceTime reading by liking, subscribing, and entering reading. We are going to see how is the person on your mind feeling? What are they planning to do Next, this is a in-depth love reading on my menu, but of course it would be much more personalized to you and much more in-depth. We are just going to get a small little overall um, on how this person is currently presently feeling, present moment. What are their true feelings, spirit, the person on Scorpio's mind? For a lot of you, you started dating someone new and I'm hoping we can pick up on present energy. Something is brewing on the verge, breaking point. Oh boy. Somebody here, the person on your mind, there's something new brewing. They're losing some emotional strength. This person could be holding their self back. They may not be reaching out, but they're really losing strength and they are about to uh, reach out. For some of you, you were dealing with someone that had the grass is greener syndrome. They are a player. You could be presently dealing with a player. You may be manifesting the same kind of person into your life. Different meat suit, sweetheart. If you are, we have got to get you out of this vibration and got to get you uh, raising your, your energy here, raising your vibe and detoxing yourself so you can start bringing in better, healthful people. I feel like, Scorpio, for some of you, you've been manifesting the same sort of person over and over you may have a p player that you were dealing with in the past and now currently present moment you're dealing with a player as well somebody who is always keeping their options open um they say things like i don't know what i want i'm just having fun um i, I i'm just not ready to settle down i'm not sure what i what i want they come in hot fall off you don't hear from them for weeks trust me i spent years of my life dealing with people like this i know this energy well so i'm coming from a place of love but those who are continuously manifesting players we you have to take a break from dating and you have to start healing a few things inside of you sweetheart so you can manifest better quality people into your life you do seem to be mirroring each other there's something here that needs to be uh, seen by them on you and you on them there if i for a lot of you you already understand what it is that you're mirroring you see the qualities that um they have that you may not love about yourself and you're starting to realize that that you you are mirroring this person but you could be being strung along honey for some of you this person strung you along or you're currently in a situation where someone's rushing in and out of your life promising that things are going to change in the future they're just not ready to settle down now they make you feel like you're gonna have a future they future fake you but they're actually stringing you along i'm sorry scorpio i wish that we had a more positive reading <sighs> tell me spirit <clears throat> what is this person planning on doing towards scorpio in the next let's say two weeks please They're indecisive. They don't know. This is somebody who does not know. They have to give something up to come in towards you. Or they have to sacrifice their player ways to be with you. If you're currently presently dealing with somebody, they are hypnotized, captured by you, Scorpio. They feel captured by your love. There's a lot of sexual desire, a lot of sexual chemistry. But this is the thing for some of you. That's all it is. It's lust. This person has love for you but it's more lust that you all you only see them when they want to be intimate they never take you anywhere they never do anything for you they never do anything with you 
Um, they just come in for intimacy. And for some of you, you have mistaken that for love. And I am sorry if you have, but you're being strung along in some way. Oh boy. Tell me about what, what this being strung along is, please, spirit. I feel someone's giving you false hope. This person keeps telling you that um, not today. They're standing still. They're not moving forward. They could be a Pisces. They're, you all are just stagnating. I feel that you're very generous with this person. You're very loving. You've opened your heart to them. And unfortunately, this is someone who is a player. They like to play the field. They they know they're sexy. They know they're attractive. They're out here um, acting like they are as well. This is somebody that, that can be quite arrogant in their energy. This could be a fire sign. What's brewing, spirit, please? Yeah, a lie is coming out. Seven of swords in reverse. Um... The queen and the king of wands. You all do have a, a soul connection, okay? But something's coming. Something's about to be illuminated. They're about to illuminate something to you or you're about to find something out. It could have something to do with a pregnancy. It could have something to do with a third party. But there's something coming out. They're on the verge of telling you or something's on the verge of coming out. The divine may be showing you what you need to see. Um, for some, you have children to this person. I, I do feel that um, it, it could definitely be a third party here. A third party could be on the verge of reaching out, okay? There has been some healing. I, I do feel that there, there may be some hope, but whatever is coming out, it needs to come out first. The divine wants you to see this before you make a true decision. What is this being illuminated to Scorpio? What is this? This person is losing sleep. They have all-consuming worry because of having non-traditional relationships with others. Um, they're afraid you're going to find out. They're afraid to lose you. They don't want to lose your attention. They don't want to lose you um, emotionally, but they're weary. They're beat up. And the reason why they're out here acting this way, it's always the, the reason, is because they're searching for something outside of their self that they need to find inside their self. This is somebody who needs constant validation. They're, they're constantly searching for validation of that they're attractive or validation that they can get as many bitches as they please or validation that they can uh, get as many men to pay their bills as possible. It's, it's wounding. Most likely from childhood. For a lot of you, this is someone that has, um, they, they've seen this kind of behavior growing up. They think it's normal, but they're starting to, to really feel consumed with worry that you're going to find something out. So they may actually tell you first. They may tell you. For some of you, you're going to find out you're dealing with somebody that is actually living with a third party or, or something like this. What's this painful decision, please? A sacrifice. Yeah. This is somebody who has to end. Definitely. Three of cups in reverse. This is an affair. This is uh, third parties. This is this person knowing that something has to, to end with a third party. They have to end something with a karmic. They could actually be in a relationship with them. They could be married to them or have children or a family or a home. The king of pentacles here is typically a, a person that is in a committed, a committed person. This seems to be a situation where you may be having an affair and this person knows that they have to give something up to be with you or they have to leave a third party or they have to give this lifestyle of acting like a player and going out with third parties constantly up. There, there, there's a sacrifice that they, they know they need to make. What are they planning on doing? Those of you that are having an affair, I'm so sorry, but this person, Queen of Pentacles, Three of Swords here, this person seems to be in a commitment. They seem to be committed to somebody else. If you are married to this person, 
I feel like they're going to um, make a painful sacrifice and give up this third party. If you're having an affair or you're dealing with somebody who is already married or has a family with a third party, Scorpio, they're gonna unfortunately make a decision to give up this connection. For some of you, you're dealing with a Sagittarius, another Scorpio, a fixed sign in Aquarius. This person seems to be taking a leap of faith wanting to come in towards you here but not knowing who to give up they, they're trying to be patient they're trying to trust in divine timing here they're very foolish this is somebody who acts incredibly foolish if you have a family to this person they want to come in here and take a leap towards you and and but they have to give something up or somebody up or a lifestyle up if you're having an affair with them it seems to me like they are planning on sacrificing and giving up your love even though they feel a lot of love for you most likely because of 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 priorities because of children of mortgages of whatever the the reason is here the queen of pentacles the king of pentacles this other third party mm. This is a situation that this person knows they cannot continue to live this way. They cannot continue running around out here, throwing it to anybody who wants it, fucking uh, with these sexual desires, etc. They have to give up this lifestyle to be able to build and grow and heal with you. And this is the sacrifice they know they need to make but they're very indecisive. They seem to have fell in love with you, especially if you were having an affair here. This is somebody who meant to just come in, have a good time, and run back out the door, but then they meant this beautiful creature called Scorpio, and they do not now know what they're going to do because they feel that they have to stay in this connection because of responsibilities, but they also have love for you. There's some kind of indec indecision. Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other for who you are and watch your relationship magically transform. Be aware of what you are projecting in one another are the qualities of both. You equally equally so the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection again about mirroring there's something you all mirror off one another a wound maybe you're a player maybe you used to be a player maybe there's a lot of um things about this person seeking validation or searching for at some point you were scorpio maybe you need validated by outside people as well and it's something you need to look at inside yourself here sweetheart the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available for you. Follow it with faith as well as look inside yourself. Examine what is making you feel this way. Squirt, there's a, there's a new day, sweetheart. There's a new day. And, and today is the day to stop allowing this person to string you along. Um, you don't have to wait for them to make the decision. You can make it for yourself because you're just bleeding everywhere, baby. You're bleeding out everywhere. This person is continuously hurting you, wounding you. There's ongoing battle wounds here. They seem to be afraid to lose you, but also afraid to cut out this third party or cut out a lifestyle. Mm, this, is, this is sad. This is someone here who has got to sit down and do some fucking healing really and make up their mind on what it is they want unclear i don't know how i feel about this connection i think i'm obsessed with you i think about you all the time i stalk your socials and i hope i run into you when i'm out this is somebody here who wants to break away from you i'm not gonna lie they want to break away and they don't know how they feel anymore but they obsessively think of you they obsessively think about this what decision should i make what what should i do they have all these conflicting feelings now the wheel is here so no matter what happens you are going to be on top my love no matter what comes out or whatever they tell you or whatever decision they make scorpio you're gonna be okay sweetie 
you have came into this with love and light with nothing but love in your heart maybe you made some mistakes yes but because of that good karma coming in for you so hang in there whatever this is you're gonna be okay and you're gonna get out the other side guidance it's time to release realize your passions live your dreams and begin a new chapter in your life you are encouraged to expand your awareness, eliminate fear, and become a whole new person. You are guided and protected. You see what I mean? Right now, right now's the time. You don't have to wait for this person to make a decision. You make it for them. Who do you want to be, sweetheart? Who do you want to become? What do you want your life to look like in a year? It doesn't have to look like this. It doesn't have to be this. It can be a whole new beautiful beginning. Of, of, of love and desire and, and, and building together and security. But you have to get out of this, allowing this person in and out of your life and, and dealing with third parties, sweetie. If you don't, unfortunately, you may find yourself here next year. And that is not where you want to be, Squirt. I hope everybody has a beautiful and blessed day. I'm sending you love and light.